So hi everyone, welcome to this week's colouring video and the colouring club. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for joining me in my weekly colouring videos. Are you having fun colouring in from my new book? I certainly am. I am just so happy to have this book out in the world. It took me a while to put it together, but I am just loving colouring everything in. So I'm so glad you're joining me on this journey. So um, today we are going to be colouring in this gorgeous page. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is the Aster Flower. So you'll notice actually this is a little bit bolder than some of the designs in the book. Um, in the book, there's lots of variation of thin and thick lines and detailed and simple blooms as well. So um, this is going to be so much fun to colour in. And uh, I will probably colour in this as well. And I'll show you at the end of the video what the double spread looks like. I think these pages are looking so amazing together as double spreads. And as always, all the information is in the description. And of course, if you like these videos, please subscribe and add the notifications as well. So you get notified when the new videos come out every week. And please do comment and ask me questions. I pop back and answer those as well. All right, so let's get colouring this page. So hi everyone, welcome to another colouring video. Today we are going to be colouring in this really beautiful, bold aster flower, which is in section one of my book, Colouring Botanical Blooms, Bouquets and Mandalas. And I've chosen my colours already. I've got quite a few here. Um, and I'm going to do a tiny bit of blending, but I've actually put the colours already on this tester sheet here. So I'll leave that next to my page and we'll ref reference that as we colour through. All the materials and everything will be in the description. If you haven't bought the book yet, you can take a look through the link in the description as well. And just a reminder, these are the pencils we're using. These are from Stateler. They are watercolour pencils, so if you wanted to, you could add water to them. So they're really great value. I love using them. I'll pop all of the links in the description. And here is the original drawing I did from Inktober. So I just translated that into a colouring page and then obviously put in the background here. So this is going to be just a very simple bloom to colour today because it's quite large it's actually quite satisfying sometimes to colour in the larger parts of a flower rather than all the intricate little bits so this is actually really fun and I'm actually working on another colouring book which is more bolder and thicker lines so um, look out for that soon as well so we're going to dive right in here I'll pop my pencils and yes, for inspiration, for colour inspiration, I'm using some of my drawings here that I've already coloured in of the Aster Flower and I'm going to focus on this version, I think, for the main flower, which is beautiful kind of blues and a bit of pink blended in. So we will do some blending today and then maybe I might use this pink as the background. I haven't quite decided yet. We'll see as we travel along. And let's dive in. So I think I'm going to start from the centre here first with these two different types of yellows that I've got. And I'm just going to alternate those as I go around. And you should be able to see those quite clearly as I colour them in. I might just zoom in for you as well a tiny bit. go so I've got both of these in my hand so I'm probably just going to start with this lemony yellow first and go around and just kind of randomly color in and then go in with this darker kind of more golden yellow so you'll see the difference this is really nice it adds a little bit of contrast and a bit of detail it's nice to use a couple of different colors or a couple of different kind of hues of the same colour. As in many of my videos, I'll speed up the film here so we can move on to the next phase. But obviously you can colour along with me or you can replay any areas you want to rewatch. 
There's a new video every Saturday. So lots of fun. And please do comment if you've got any questions as well. I'd love to hear your questions and your thoughts about the designs, but also just your colouring in. Any questions about the pencils I use? Okay, so there's the centre finished. And like I mentioned for the main bloom, I'm actually going to be using this colour scheme, which is kind of like a very bluey, there's a bit of mauve and maybe a bit of pink in there as well. So we're going to do some blending. And I've done quite a lot of blending in a lot of my other videos as well. So I think what we'll do first of all, I've got this light blue colour. And I'm just going to start off by adding this to the petal. And then I'm going to go in with this mauve. I'm going quite lightly at the moment, so I might start going a bit heavier. And go back to the blue again maybe for the tip here what's lovely about blending when you're using a couple of different colors is that every petal is going to be different so you're kind of using different the same technique but in a different way so you can start with the mauve if you like and then work with the blue the idea is to blend so it kind of has that lovely different tonal effect with the different colors Obviously, we've got quite a lot of black lines here for the shading, so you might find that you might want to use a bit more pressure just to darken the colour. And I'm just going to go round each petal with this blue and this mauve. And I do have this other blue here, it's like a blue purple, so I might use that in a moment. Let's try that on this one. Mm, nice. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely going to blend the three colours, I think. And maybe I can actually use this blue down here so it's a bit darker towards the centre. Okay, so I will speed the film up a little bit. I might just add a little bit of pink in here as well. There's no right or wrong way here. You can just kind of blend the colours if you feel like you want to add some different colours in here. That's quite pretty. So I'm just going to keep going. I'll speed the camera up and we'll colour this whole flower in here and then we'll come back and then we'll tackle the background with a different colour scheme. If you want to, you can use the darker colours to kind of create a bit of shadow going on. So where there's leaves behind leaves or petals behind petals, you can kind of add a bit of shadow in there. center flower finished with this gorgeous blue and purple and light blue and I think I'm going to just add a bit of contrast in the back here so these background flowers I am going to use the pink but maybe I will use a tiny bit of this as well I will start with the pink first and we'll see how we get along um, but I'll just uh, I'm going to use the same technique with blending and I'll colour in all of the yellow in here as well. And then I'll come back when this page is actually finished and we'll see where we are then.
that coloring page finished and I just need to decide what to do in the background here. And I kind of feel like doing something different today. So I'm thinking I might put a darker color in the back. And I was thinking of maybe a dark brown or something, or even like a dark green. So I'm just gonna have a quick look to see what I've got, which could work quite nicely. So let's use our testing sheet here. So I've got this kind of like a, a brown color. So we kind of want something a little bit darker than that maybe. See what else I've got. That's kind of like a black blue. That's quite nice. That would actually be nice. That would actually make the designs really pop forward because we want to have something that's a bit of a contrast in the back there. And I think other than that, there is the black, but hmm, this could be quite interesting. Let me show you the black I've got here. Kind of like a black charcoal grey. I think this this one in the middle here, which is more of a blue, I think I might actually, I think I'm going to put that in the back there and then we can always blend it if I want something a little bit dark. I might put the black over the top. So let's go with this. And all I'm really going to do is colour in the background here and you will see this changes the whole look and feel of the actual design itself. Something different. I think it's the first time I've actually put something dark into the background in this colouring book. Okay, so... There we go, that's that design finished. But um, I think that's great for today. I just love how that is, that lovely dark background is pushing all those designs forward. So have a go at doing that. I'll make sure I put this um, color into the description. It's black, but it's kind of more of a blue black. And that's actually really nice because I think it softens the design a little bit. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. Okay, so hi everyone. How did you get on with that? Oh my God, that was so much fun. I really enjoyed coloring this one in. Um, here is the double spread, the finished double spread, and you can see how gorgeous it was using that darker color in the background. Look how that is popped out. It's so pretty. And on here's the grayscale side that um, I colored in as well. Uh, so this is even beautiful, even more beautiful, I think, with the black or this blacky blue in the background. So as a double spread, that looks absolutely beautiful, if I do say so myself. So thanks again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, if you are colouring in from the colouring book and you're sharing on social media to use the hashtag, um, all the information is in the description of this video. And I can't wait to see you next week. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye.